Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a flat pack um, portable barbecue. It's a Yellowstone, but they do it, that's just the brand name it's got. You can buy it in all sorts of names. I think Millets are doing it at the moment. It's on sale, it's about 15 quid. It's stainless steel. I first saw it on Johnny Wildcamp's, one of his video. I'll put a link to his channel at the end so you can have a look at his videos. He does really nice videos, but he does them from his perspective. So you don't see him in the video you just see his view and he does some really nice spots he goes to and does some good camps so let's get into the review every time i think i'm gonna wake up back in the jungle every time i think i'm gonna wake up back in the jungle <laughs> this is the box Pack flat barbecue. It's by Yellowstone, but like I say, these can come from any manufacturer. It's one of those generic things. So that's the box. Let's set that aside because the barbecue just slid out of it. I wouldn't normally carry the box, I think, for the review. So here's my barbecue. As you can see, I think it weighs. I'm not going to think, I'm going to tell you what it weighs if it tells me. So it comes in a carry pack. Let's have a look. I haven't used it yet. I've had it for a little while. It's just that I've been doing so much stuff, I haven't had a chance to do a review of it. So there's a carry pack. I'll give you the measurements as well. Right. This is the holder for it. It just basically pops out like this like I said I haven't used it yet so it's still in its packaging then this piece here is flat pack as you can see it just pop out then it'll sit in its cradle and you've got your it could be set up this time in less than a minute there's your ash pan, it goes in for catching. There's your coal bed, so your coals and that. You can put child coal in this. It's got a warning, sharp edges. Okay, and that'll burn that will not it? Then this unfolds. Let's just get that off. This unfolds, flip it over, and it sits there, that's your grill top. So that's for grilling. So I'm going to move you around so you can have a good look at this. Let's get rid of this. I'll show you the measurements. I'll tell you how high it is off the ground and all the other bits and bobs to do with measurements. But if you go to places like I want to buy this for, what I bought it for, is going to parks and places where you don't have to have an open fire, even some campsites. This is easy to carry, cook on it get an open fire going and then when you don't want to cook on it you've got yourself a little fire pit for warmth put all your chairs around it and you've got yourself a little um heater outdoor heater i went into millets and had them there for 14.99 so they're on sale in there at the moment i saw them i said is this a natural all the day stock you have it all the time they said yeah yeah we keep these all the time but i've not even seen it on their website then again i haven't looked so let me go and find some wood
Right, I'm back. Just done some chopping and some shavings and found some small stuff prepping the wood for this. I'm going to burn the box as well because I've got it. So yeah, this is what I've collected. Ripped the box up, got some small stuff. Get a bed in there for me to put the build the fire on initially. Let's get the fire built, get it going. There's no wind as such, but as soon as that's going, it's going to come at me, the smoke. Guaranteed. It's all the stuff I've shaved off. Now the wind's getting up. They always know, don't it? The old wind. It's like, oh, he's going to build a fire. Let's get some wind up. Smoke him out. So this looks like it's going to be a good little um, barbecue. I'm looking forward to using this with the, with the kids and that, taking them out. You can go, I feel like if anyone comes along, you've got to contain fire. You're not doing anything which I would say is damaging. You aren't damaging the ground. You aren't having a risk. Even like anyone that goes out in the woods and has a fire, if you do it properly, you're not having a risk anyway. But you know, the, the non-educated um, people don't realize this and they just say no fires because they're idiots out there that will cause problems. But this is going well, I like it. Johnny Wildcamps. He's got one of these, it's slightly different. I think, I think it's an older model. I don't know for sure, but he said this is slightly different to his, with the folding grill on it. He's got a solid grill, so it just goes across the top. But yeah, it looks like a wind, doesn't it? Brilliant, brilliant for like, even if you're doing it on your patio, you can have this. And like I said, I'm sitting, I'll show you if you can see, I'm sitting this close to it, I can feel the heat. Smoke's gone now, basically, because it's hot. I could feel the heat and this would be great for sitting around chatting having a beer just as a fire pit and if you fancy throwing a burger on you know you can cooking on it's another video that's the review of the um, flat pack barbecue from Yellowstone but they're all different makes all the same barbecue so yeah I think it's a great win I definitely um, recommend this you can see what it's doing to the ground. It's not really affecting it at all. So if that was on grass, it might sort of heat the grass up, but it shouldn't burn the grass. Now if you was a bit um, worried about it, it could always lay some kind of a piece of wood or, well, perhaps not a bit of wood, perhaps a bit of silver foil. So any ashes fall on the silver foil. That'd be a good idea. So yeah, it's a definite go for me. Let's have a look back in the ashes. I'll push you in quick. I don't want to melt you. <laughs> Definitely don't want to melt you after I dropped you in the canal and he drowned you. I'm gonna burn the torture I put this camera through. For you, let's go. As you appreciate as a GoPro, I've got to get close just for you to see anything. Whoop, oh, got a lick there. You got burnt. Anyways, get a brew on and then we have to start trying to look at a way of breaking this down. I'll probably have to tip that out. Um, clear some leaves, make a mud area, tip that out and put it out. Because I need to cool this barbecue down before I can pack it. Right, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna pull out. Leave no trace of the fire, which I have done. I've left a bit of the wood I've chopped though underneath this log. Because I might come back here again actually and do some more. So here's where the fire was, where the pit was. And then this is where I threw all my ashes out and my little bits of coals. And now I've put it out and I've covered it. There's a bit of the wood I've cut. I've just left it underneath this log. So hopefully it'll stay dry if it rains a bit. So time to get on back down the trail. Right, that's the end of it. Coming down to the end of the trail now. Just met that bloke that made the tree table for me. He was going up. It's unusual, isn't it? See him in the woods as well. But he likes to get out, I suppose. I asked him the way back because I forgot it. He told me to go down and around. So that's it. 
thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell if you want to see the future uploads thanks a lot i'll see you on the next one bye then